Although it's not the only profession or group or influence on this relationship, um, the engineering profession has always played a critical role in, the relation, in helping guide the relationship between technology and society. Now, doubtless, there are many other actors, whether it's government, scientists, um, business, that have huge influences on this relationship and will continue and should continue to. But if you actually look at sort of the theoretical domain of the engineering profession, and you can do this by going back and looking at actually some of the, some of the standing definitions that are out there from various sources. And what you find is actually most of them map out quite a large um, role for the engineering profession um, within this relationship. What I would argue is that um, a lot of the higher potential we've been feeling within the Engineering Change Lab and other conversations is a result of where the focal point is of the engineering profession within this theoretical domain. So at the moment, it's evident that the engineering profession is more on the strong technological focus side of the socio-technological continuum. And I would argue also further back towards established technologies as opposed to cutting edge technologies um, when it comes to the technology dimension. Now, a lot of people are probably saying, well, wait a minute, I know some, an engineer who's way on the cutting edge of technology, or I know engineers who are right in the nexus of socio-technological issues. And those are undoubtedly true, but the question is one of focal point. So where are we optimizing the profession for? The way we educate engineers, the types of work, work opportunities that we provide for engineers, the way we promote the engineering profession. And are those examples you can think of outliers that are succeeding despite our focus, or to what extent are they actually benefiting from the engineering profession as a system at the moment? And so that's what's represented by these question marks that are throughout this section here. And individuals who are kind of in this domain outside, far away from the focal point may or may not consider themselves real engineers and may or may not be considered real engineers by others in the system. So what set this focal point? I would argue that the two major things that have resulted in this focal point are context changes that are broader than the engineering profession itself mixed with leadership decisions made by um, engineers as they've navigated those context changes.